Okay, first of all, uh, I sent you, sent you out this morning to you. Uh, I don't know how, whether you have checked your mailbox. Uh, this is some of the review question. Uh, you need to know this. Uh, first is a uh, few of the African countries that experienced military coup in the last two years. So just want you to know, uh, lots of countries in Africa have experienced coup. But these are the ones who experienced coup in the last two years. Okay? Uh, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Madagascar, Mauritania, and Niger. Okay, so those are the ones. And then some of the presidents that they have removed the term limit, okay? Of course, like Tanja had problem because he was uh, forced out by military coup. Other states, uh, and this is the one uh, in Djibouti, that's the one, uh, Ismail <coughs> Gula, he is the one who is there uh, just recently, the most recent change. It's in Djibouti, okay? And then we ha I'll give you some of this. You don't have to remember this. Uh, African coup. I mean, there are a lot. But, uh, no, no, you, you need to know something like uh, some countries really have a lot of coup. Okay? Just say, uh, that's it. Okay, for example, is, uh, if my question is, which one of the following African countries, you know, experience uh, more than five coup? Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> like um, some countries will say, "Hey, you know, you had so many coup before. I never had that experience. Let me, let me, let me try it." Okay. So in the nineteen nineties, they try, and people say, "No, it's not good for you." But I've never experienced. I need to grow up. Hmm? 有聽過嗎? 你們有沒有跟爸爸媽媽講過? Like my kids, I, we always told our kids, we said, well, you know, you should not try this, you know, you know, save your time. Then my kids would say, but dad, I want that experience. <laughs> okay, you want that experience, fine. Okay, in uh, South American countries, uh, we show you this, uh, so you should at least know uh, it's almost like you, if you don't have military coup, how can you get into the World Cup? <laughs> hmm? Okay. You need to have a military coup in South America. But this year, wait a second, I know Argentina is there, Brazil, Paraguay is there, right? Yes. And what's the number four country? It's Uruguay. Uruguay, Paraguay. I think Colombia is also there. Five? They are five. They are five. Okay, so, so Colombia def cannot win a good cup, you know, game. If they don't have... They, they have election. That's so abnormal. Mm -hmm. They have election. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, the election is going to have what we call just like uh, absolute majority, second round. Okay. Uh, different forms of government, uh, anarchy, you understand monarchy, polyarchy is the one created by political scientists. 政治学家没事做, you know, just find a new word, saying, you know, we want an archy, but, you know, but by many people, so they put it poly, like your polynomial something. <laughs> polynomial is what? Okay, polynomial. Okay. Aristocracy, autocracy, democracy, no problem with this. Autocracy is not people who fix car that is in charge. Okay? Autocracy means you know they are on their own. Means they, they are basically uh, very autocratic uh, in, in terms of running the country. Kleptocracy, remember that word. You know, your professor loved this word. Kleptocracy. You go into the government to steal. And I think some of the, our politicians also in Taiwan believe that. You know, the purpose of getting into the government is to, to enrich your own pocket. Hmm? You know, it's otherwise, why are you going into uh, government? 
uh, meritocracy is based on merit. Uh, never trust that. Why? Because in Taiwan, we have our civil servants do not believe in meritocracy. We said, well, no, look, we have this review system, right? 3% of you will have the C. So 3% is not a big one. You know, look at uh, in, in college, C is what? Average. C means average grade. Okay? And then our bureaucrats say, C, no, you know, it's bad. And 3% is too many. Why? Because they believe even if you are doing a good job, but if you, serve, if you don't serve your boss well, you don't kiss his or her ass, then you will get a bad review. Okay? Then that is not meritocracy. Okay? So meritocracy based on what you have done. Protocracy, uh, rich people dominate. Okay, only rich people can run for office. Only rich people can, you know, so that's a plutocracy. Anyway, the country is theirs, right? So why don't we let them to decide? Absolutism uh, means, you know, the, the king or the military leader who has absolute power, okay? Uh, that kind of authoritarian, what's the difference? Okay, I, I think this is a good question to ask. So, uh, Zhang Lixing. What's the difference between authoritarianism and totalitarianism? Authoritarianism and totalitarianism. In Chinese, what's the translation? Hmm? Authoritarianism, is uh, No, Wei Quan. Totalitarianism, Ji Quan. So, what's the difference between Wei Quan and Ji Quan? Okay, Ji Quan is more absolute than authoritarian. Okay, uh, so some if if people ask you, North Korea, authoritarian or totalitarian? <coughs> totalitarian, especially with oh, I love that Li Chun Ji Da Shen. That report. Have you seen her reporting the news? Kamsa Hamnida! No, no, no. Kamsa Hamnida is okay. Say thank you. I don't think you have to say that. Right? Sili Hamnida. Sili Hamnida. Sili Hamnida. Sili Hamnida. Sili Hamnida. That's a little bit too much. Okay. So, uh, but that's a totalitarian. Okay. What about China? Authoritarian? Uh -huh. Okay. What people said will say totalitarian is into every aspect of your life. They dictate what you need to do, <coughs> they dictate what you need to eat, they need dictate what you should like. Okay. Like North Korea. <laughs> you know, show your allegiance to, to the great leader. No, great leader is Jing Chen, the father. The son, Jing Zheng Ri, the current Leader is called the beloved one. Okay, but you always have their pictures together, right? Uh, so uh, that's ab that's really so absolute. That's totalitarian. Okay, authoritarianism means they they truly control political power, but they allow you certain choices in terms of your economic life. Okay, uh, China was a totalitarian before when most people. Don't dare to wear the, you know, colorful suit, right? Usually it's gray and blue. Ah, oh, China, that's very difficult. It's blue, green, blue. Nobody dare to wear like orange color, yellow color, or a green color, right? So that's totalitarian. Populism. What do we mean by populism? Wang Shiqi. Chen Tingyu. Okay, what is populism? <coughs> you know which one you want to ask? Populism. Uh, 
Uh, Taksing. Do you know who is Taksing? You got to love him. He's a tycoon, not a typhoon. Huh? Who is who is Taksin? The former 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 lover? <laughs> no, former former prime minister of which country? Thailand. Okay. Now he is a populist. He is practicing populism. What do we mean by populism? Okay, I, I think my brand of populism will be uh, everyone in Taiwan has a right, is entitled to spend one night in Dibao. What, what do we call this? What is populism? I, this has been accused of what have happened in Taiwan as well. But third world country, a lot of this populist like, uh, you know, in Venezuela, uh, the President Chavez is being considered a populist. Ming Tui. Ming Tui means appeal to the general <coughs> public for, you know, to, to, to attract their support, but really not very responsible. I think everyone here in, t- in in this class. I mean, you're too sen- you're too rational. You would you would not consider my proposal very good. But if you go to the countryside, you go to other places. Say, don't you think Taipei people have exploited us enough? Don't you think we are entitled to one night at Dibao? Ah, 每一个台湾人，我们已经被台北人折磨够了吧？难道不应该到地堡去享受一晚吗？每人每年有一天到地堡。住一晚，享受一下，看看他们赵建明怎么住的。Okay, <laughs> so good. Ah, uh, so that what we call populism. Mm-hmm. Or, or what else? What do we do? Guo Taiming, ha. Too rich, right? So if he really like all this social dance, everybody is entitled to one free lesson. Guo mm-hmm. Taiming should pay all that. Wow. He would do that. Why? Because his wife might have a business. Who knows? Okay, so that's what we call populism. You understand populism now? Just appeal to those, uh, you know, uh, base, uh, masses of people. Now, uh, national political system. We have federation, confederation, and centralized system. Uh, I think you understand all that. Uh, one thing about this uh, is Great Britain is a centralized system, but it's moving a little bit toward. I don't think it's a federation yet, but you know some decentralization of power. Okay, what are the countries that are federal system? Can you give me example, Huang Yixian? Yeah, can you give me example of countries? Federal systems. <coughs> Federal system, two things. Has to be big. Right? <coughs> so that the central government really cannot take care of all the local needs. So you have, you know, more power given to the local government. That's one reason. Second one is maybe a, a lot of different people. So you allow them to have their own culture, their own Autonomy. So, which countries? Federal system. U- United States. Okay, that's one. Give me three. I already said big countries. China. Oh, oh. Are you supporting unification? Because there are people saying, "Oh, Zhonghua Nian Bang Wu." Or Bangnian or something, right? But China is the only big country without a federation. Don't you think China should should have federation? 
you know, allowing autonomy. China has autonomous regions in Guangxi, in Xizhang, in Xinjiang, in Neimong, right? But this is where China is the only big country uh, doesn't have the federation. So, Mr. Huang, tell me what other big countries, what other countries have federation? In addition to the United States, the most famous one. There is a club, okay, if you check, uh, if you Google, you will find, you know, a, a club, you know, all the federal countries, uh, they are, there is a club, <laughs> about 20 of them. <coughs> some of them strange, you know, some very small, but they are very diverse. Okay, big countries... Mr. Huang, in your view, in addition to United States and China, what are countries that are very big territorially? Taiwan, okay, fine. You know, Da Taiwan, okay, that's fine. Well, Xinjiang, you, you, Tian, you, Da, okay. So, Da Taiwan. Canada, Canada is a federation. Especially, Canada has what? The two big problems. Quebec, okay, the French speaking. And the French speaking people have a different legal code. Napoleon legal code. Okay, so different language, different culture, of course. I mean, if you're f French, you, you think you can get along with the, the British? I mean, British people don't know how to eat. Right? Okay, and so Canada is a big one. Okay, I need one more from you. Russia is one, okay, even though Russia uh, not very good in really giving autonomy, but it, because it is so big, it has to. So there are a lot of republics inside Russia, right? Uh, used to be Soviet Union is a federation. <coughs> you have, you know, R Russia as one of the republic. And then under Russia, you also have some other Federation, you know, is, Russia is a federation, so also have a lot of republic as well. So a lot of autonomous regions here. Uh, so that's uh, federation and confederation. Okay. Oh, uh, Finnish federation. What else do we have? Uh, what, what, what other countries federation? Canada, United States, Russia, Germany. Okay. <coughs> The Federal Republic of Germany, okay, FRG. Germany is a federation. And you give me two more. <coughs> Big countries. In terms of both population and maybe size. Switzerland. Switzerland is a small country, but it is a federation. Okay, good. Little, little, little Belgium is one. Okay, but I'm talking about big developing country as well. Brazil is one, and Argentina is one, Mexico is one. Okay, India is one, Malaysia is one, so you can have a lot. Oh, oh, we need some African countries. Okay, Ethiopia is one, Nigeria is one. Uh, what else do we miss? Oh, Australia is one, right? Australia very big. So you think of the bigger countries, population, uh, <coughs> the only two exceptions, China and Indonesia. I think Indonesia is big enough in terms of population and also in terms of geographic uh, spread. Okay, should be a federation. Okay, but it's not. Okay, so remember, confederation, Yang Ming Wen, Chen Yun Qing. Yeah, okay. Can, can you give me an example of confederation? Hey, 
decade happened in Chinese history almost? Hmm? Mr. Chen, confederation in Chinese history. Confederation means the local is stronger than the central. Right? Centralized system means the central government is bigger, more powerful than the local government. Federation is supposedly to share power. Okay, confederation means that local government is bigger. Central government is just saying, ah, we just, you know, happen to be the same, like if we have a Chinese confederation, uh, saying, oh, Singapore, Taiwan, you can all be part of this. Okay, but we are independent. You know, then where do you put the government? Uh, oh, what's, uh, we, so, we like gamble a lot. We'll, we'll, we'll put it in Macau, okay. <laughs> Uh, and some people go to Macau as the Da Zhonghua Bang Nian the Yi Hui Dai Biao, but nobody care. Okay, so so that would be confederation. But uh, other part Chinese history, do you know which one might be considered confederation? How about the Warring States? Do you know the Warring States? The spring and autumn? Oh, oh after the spring and autumn, it should be summer and winter. But after the spring and autumn, what do we have? Warring States. Who cares? Huh? Nobody cares. Uh, Chun Jiu I care. <laughs> Zhang Guo, I don't think they care. San Guo, do they think? Do you think they care? They do? They care about the uh, Han Xian Di. No. Okay, what about real history in Europe? H R E Holy Roman Empire. Okay. Uh, which you have so many electors and uh, feudal lords, uh, nobody care about the emperor. Uh, so that's one. America used to have a confederation before they changed into a federation. So remember this, uh, this is very idealistic. Uh, the most recent one is what? CIS? <laughs> what is CIS? <coughs> Crime investigation. Huh? No. Uh, Commonwealth of independent states. After Russia, uh, you know, disintegrated, and they, they put a Commonwealth of independent state. They had a capital in Minsk, okay, in Belarus. <laughs> uh, I but it's not very uh, powerful. So you understand confederation. Uh, Soviet Federation, um, is this asking you a little bit too much to understand all this uh, federation? So, uh, sorry. <coughs> so you should know some of this Baltic states, European states, Transcaucasian states. Central Asian states. Uh, I don't think I expect you to know how to spell all those Stan. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, that would be a little bit too much for you. Huh? But you should know the, those countries, okay? Yugoslavian Confederation, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro. Serbia, Slovenia. Don't confuse Slovenia with Slovakia. But both of them are in World Cup, huh? I think so, am I right? Slovenia is. Who knows, maybe. I know Czech Republic is not. You know, Czech Republic is very upset right now. Because both, I think Slovenia and Slovakia both. Okay, so remember this federation. And then Russia's Autonomous Republic, 
in the Transcaucasus or Transcaucasian region, uh, Chechnya, Dagestan, and Ingushitia, North Ossetia. Now, where is South Ossetia? It's in Georgia, remember. Okay, <coughs> North and South. North is in Russia, South. Okay, so you remember. Term of political separation. Uh, we can have independence, but next time, you know, we, we can use a different word. <laughs> we can use a secession, okay? But people say secession, you must be there, you know, tied up, you secede. But we are not under China, so I'm not sure. Self-determination, that's the word we like to use a lot, saying it's our own choice for Taiwan, right? Autonomy, uh, autonomy is not a good word in Taiwan. And people will say, are we already part of China? No. Okay. So decentralization, irredentism. Oh, that's, the, that's the key word here. Yeah. What is irredentism? Uh, anyone else know irredentism? <coughs> irredentism, I think we explained this a little bit. It's about someone outside your country belong to the same group, okay, as you. And you feel they should be part of or reintegrate with you. So China feel Taiwan is an irredenta. China feel Taiwan, being Han Chinese, should be part of the Ch Chinese nation. So that we are well, they, they, they are not controlling us now. So Taiwan is an irredenta. You know, uh, it's not almost like uh, another country will be uh, the Tamil people in Sri Lanka, right? The Tamil people in India feel that this Tamil should not be under the rule of the, uh, the Sinhalese in Sri Lanka. They should be united with the uh, Tamil people in India. Uh, so what would be, I think more like uh, in China would be something like Fujian province has a special affinity relation with Taiwan. They feel Taiwan and Fujian maybe should be part. You know, it should be the same. <coughs> That's how they strongly identify. Uh, where else do we find this? Okay. Uh, in Germany, uh, after World War II, parts of Germany being ceded to where? Which country? Germany lost territory after World War II to which country? No, no, they, I mean, I mean we, England to where? No, they occupy Germany, but they return. But Germany lost territory to which country? Poland. Why lost territory to Poland? Because Poland lost territory to Soviet Union. So Soviet Union said, you know, I'm going to take the eastern part of Poland, and Poland said, then I need to be compensated. So they took the eastern part of the Germany. Okay? So you have... German people in Poland nowadays, still, they, they speak German. And after the unification of Germany, Angela Merkel said, we will not pursue that. You know, some people worry. Uh, because German will say, hey, we have brothers <coughs> lost in the Polish territory. <laughs> okay, They lost. Also, there is another called Eastern Prussia. Uh, it's uh, northeast of Poland, separated from Germany, but used to be German territory, also given away. So German people in Poland, that's their irredenta to them. Uh, do we have a, others? Oh, we have this one. I'll give you this one. How about Korean? They, they felt they have brothers across the Tumen River. Huh? Yalu River and Tumen River. It's in, in North uh, Manchuria, China. 
That's the Irredenta. All this autonomous Korean autonomous region, should be part of the Greater Korea. <laughs> A lot of countries have this greater idea, like Hungary, Hungarians in Romania. They want to be unified with Hungary rather than staying with Romania. So that's what we call Irredenta. You understand this one now? Do we have that? Uh, do we consider uh, Okinawa our brothers? No? How about Diao Yutai? But there's no people there. Oh, the fish! We're so, we're so familiar with those fish. They are our brother. They are our Irredenta. Right? So that's Irredenta. You understand now? Okay, separation. Term of mass killing. I think we go through all those before ethnic cleansing, especially for which country? Ethnic cleansing. Liu uh, Yujun. Ray. I'm sorry. Liu Ray. We are writing Ray here. Okay. Uh, no, ethnic cleansing. You need to cleanse your ethnic group. You think you've been polluted. Uh, ooh. Like, have you seen that movie, Hotel Luanda? Yeah, he said, I can smell something. And then, you know, this guy working in the hotel, Georgia, Gregory, Gregory, you know, the guy who is a Hutu, uh, suddenly he decided, you know, I, I don't have to listen to you. Uh, I, I can move into the presidential suite. And then he accused the, the, you know, the leading actor who is a Hutu, but his wife is Tutsi. He said, well, you know, I smell something not good. You know, but you don't smell it because maybe you have lived in there too long with them. Uh, so Hutu felt Tutsi, you know, different smell. Uh, you need to cleanse 种族清洗. So which country is that? No, South Africa is separate. South Africa, I, I know they don't even want to. I mean, they know they're a minority. They are, they are, they are not going to finish. Uh, how about Australia? Australia is also a white only. I don't think they want to get rid of the others by killing. This one is saying we, we, we don't want to be polluted. We want to kill. Ethnic cleansing. Bosnia, Bosnia, former Yugoslavia, okay, because Bosnia, a lot of them are Muslim, okay, uh, so the Serbs there felt that they, they need to remove those Muslims, okay, that's what we call ethnic cleansing, that's the special term being used in former Yugoslavia, and then genocide everywhere, you know, from uh, Tibet <laughs> to Rwanda to other places, Holocaust, which country? Oh, only, one. only one, okay. Only Israel, right? Jewish people. Massacre everywhere. You can use uh, for Tiama, you can use all kinds of massacre. Uh, Armenian, uh, Turkey said it's a massacre. Armenian said, no, it is a genocide, okay. But the, Israel said, I don't care what you use, but just don't use Holocaust, okay. <laughs> That's ours, you know. That, 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 that. <laughs> Tragedy is in that's ours, ours cannot use it. Okay, so pogrom also about the Jewish people. Where in the 19th century, Russia. Okay, so when Jewish people suffer a lot, I think they they, they have the monopoly of tragedy, uh, monopolize a lot of tragedies. Okay, so understand all those. Wang uh, Dazhong. Okay, what about Type of voting, election recall, initiative, referendum, you understand all those. What is plebiscite? Plebiscite. Do you know this word, plebiscite? P L E B I C I S C I T E. Plebiscite. Pleb in Latin, P L E B means people. Pingming.
Yeah, it's a gong tou. Plebiscite is, uh, but it's almost like voting for a country's independence, voting for some kind of the status of a country. Referendum is more on issue. Gong tou is more a uh, fu jue. Okay, uh, th- this is fu jue. This is almost like plebiscite. A plebiscite is more like Napoleon asking people, say, do you want me or not? People say, of course we love you. Please stay. Right? You know, these are populists. Populists always do that. Do you really want me to go? No, we love you. You know, you are, you are our son in the winter. You are our water, you know, in the desert. Okay, so that's where plebiscite, you know. Uh, some people asking you, we call leadership approval. That's plebiscite. Okay. Uh, Australia wanted to abolish monarchy. They went through a plebiscite. Okay, so very similar. Ballot number proposition, that's also true. Uh, we have a lot of uh, similar type, d- different names. But for example, what are being voted in a lot of countries uh, in terms of gong tou, they voted for like, uh, do we need a casino? Taiwan, we did that in Penghu, right? That's a good gong tou, I would say. Uh, what are other issues we should vote for? Uh, do we want to pay a little bit more tax so we can have, you know, uh, a new library for, you know, the city? You know, some people did. Some people said, yeah, so what? Uh, uh, like, I voted... In Alaska, you have to vote for every kind of uh, this kind of project. They would say, if your property is over ten, one hundred thousand dollar, you will get, you have to pay twenty dollar more for tax to fix this school. Okay, 每十万美金. So that means <coughs> what? If your house worth about three million Taiwanese dollar, ah, 多州八百块钱. You said, well, that's not a lot. Okay, so, so you said, yes. But a lot of people say, don't let, don't let the government depend on this. You can always say no. Every tax is evil, right? So they don't want this. So that's gongming tou So you vote for that. Or people will say, should marijuana be legal? You understand marijuana? Da ma. Da ma is a good thing in this kind of chaotic world. Right, we need Dama uh, just to, to get ourselves into a different world, different zone. Huh? Huh? But it is not legal. Okay, so some people say Dama is not going to get people to commit crime, and you are actually deterring crime. Those people who might want to commit crime and then suddenly they have Dama, they, they you know they stay home just having so uh, marijuana. Should be legalized or not? Okay, in Taiwan. Wow, recently we have something like <coughs> this guy who like to have baby with Uz, uh, Uzbekis, Uzbek ladies. Uh, you know, the, the, the uh, surrogate motherhood. Uh, should we have that legal in Taiwan? Dari Yunmu. People say, you know, that's a, would that be too difficult for us? How, do, how, how about voting for, you know, the Chinese student coming to Taiwan? Should that be a gong tou? No. What, what would be a good gong tou issue? How about nuclear power? No. So what else do we want to have gong tou? Our government gave you this, uh, this right to vote. No, you, you have no issues at all? You care? How about... This one, death penalty. Do we want to abolish death penalty? I think that's the one we should do. Okay, and once you vote it, and then the the minister of justice will feel less pressure, right, to execute people. So, ballot number proposition, the same thing. Uh, in Italy, they like to vote whether abortion should be legal. Okay, because it is a Catholic country, they still not feel comfortable with those. Okay, or homosexual, gay marriage, should that be legalized? I think that should be put 
uh, for people to vote? Uh, or can we save money, for example, even if you're not married? Uh, you know, tax code everywhere, tax code. Yesterday, I just submit my tax, and I suddenly found out I have to pay 300000 more. I said, wait a second. I look at I have to pay 40% of my tax, my income for tax. What's wrong? I mistakenly added one more number for my income. Oh, Okay, that's the reason I have to pay. Then I said, wait a second, those people who earn that much only pay 300,000? Uh, okay, but that's, uh, you know, that's one thing I think people will, will, will look at this, you know, uh, in terms of tax and, you know, this kind of things you can have. Uh, so those are a lot of issues here. Uh, education, I think we have one. Uh, most of you understand, but I want to ask you one here. Hu uh, Ronghua. Jian Yingze. Su Xinghe. Yeah, what is affirmative action? <coughs> affirmative means yes. Right? It's in the affirmative. So say yes to action. No, what does that mean? Say no to dream. <laughs> affirmative action, very important, just like your starry programs here. What is your starry program? Fan Xing Jihua. What is affirmative action? People translate it as ping quan fa. Okay, means helping people who have might have suffered discrimination or been disadvantaged before. Uh, it's a remedial work way of helping them. So affirmative action uh, in terms of uh, education opportunity, job opportunity. Promotion opportunity. Okay. So in Taiwan, who have been discriminated in jobs? We need affirmative action. Your meal. Taiwan say How about people who are over fifty years old? People like me have been discriminated. Mentally challenged, okay, uh, but you know if the job is based on ability or you know uh, sometimes they cannot perform, I don't. Then it's a big problem, right? Physically challenged, I think people will, you know, something we can do affirmative action. But over some 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 fields that not necessary to. Yes, that's why, you know, our company, uh, our institute, my, my university, we hire someone who has suffered depression before. A depression right now is a, but, you know, if you cannot find a job, say you have depression. <laughs> because uh, the depression cannot be discriminated. Mm? So that's one, okay. Uh, but I, sometimes if you cannot do, perform, then um, you, people cannot. But physically challenge disabled people. I think we have some affirmative, affirmative action. Uh, affirmative, affirmative action for uh, minority groups, uh, maybe for, for aboriginals, uh, but we don't have a lot here in Taiwan. Other countries, they do, like South Africa. Black used to be apartheid, right, separated. So they, they didn't have the opportunity to work for the government. Now, the government purposely recruit, even though they might not be as qualified as the white. But if you don't recruit them, let them learn and grow, then they will always be in a disadvantaged position. If the medical university do not recruit minorities, and then minority will never have a chance to become doctors or you know, uh, dentists, then it will be difficult. So affirmative action is important in education uh, as a remedy. Mibu, 
Okay, but the big question everywhere is, okay, how long do you have to have this policy in place? Means, okay, I know you suffered before, but you know, African American, for example, can Obama's daughter say, you know, we are African American, right? Or what, what's his name? Will Smith. I mean. Should, should, the, should the university say, hey, we want to recruit a black student here? He, he, you know, this is a one. Will Smith's son? That's being disadvantaged? Probably not, right? Maybe there is a white uh, minor's daughters or someone. All the factors should be. Yeah, economic factors should be included. Uh, but it's nice to just have the skin color sometimes. You know, uh, like Obama right now can say, well, you know, Obama's daughter might, might say, well, we, we, we need to be help, right? Uh, but they don't. Uh, so, so this is a policy people <coughs> say, yes, it has been bad uh, for those people for a long time, and it has to be changed. And through this, you know, something has been to be done. But a lot of people will say, for how long, though? You know, one generation, two generation. Okay, so that's one big question. And the second one is, again, the question of affirmative action is when you are being hired, you know, like you said about the handicap, the, you know, people, uh, people will say, oh, he got his job only because of that. So, and, and then people will say, no, it's not his ability, but his, uh, you know, it's based on affirmative action. We call affirmative action baby means those people who got their job, I probably, I am the one, I think. I'm not affirmative action, but I think so. You know, in the United States, the university recruited me because they think I look also good to teach Eskimo. Right? I look Eskimo. Do I look Eskimo? I think. <laughs> no. I, I'm serious. When I went one summer from Alaska to Washington, D.C., to teach at a summer school in an American university in Washington, D.C. The lady looked at me, and then looked at me, and then finally said, are you Eskimo? <laughs> you know, because I was from Alaska, right? <laughs> uh, I, my son looked like an Eskimo for a while. Okay, so, uh, of course, you know, then people would say, are you, you know, I think so, so what? Uh, but other people who might get a job just based on merits, Remember merit, meritocracy, just based on merit. But people will always suspect, oh, maybe he got in because of uh, affirmative action. So that's not fair to those people, right, who are very good students, just, you know, like, like Aborigines in Taiwan, who might be able to just, without any additional points, can get into NTU. But every Aborigines in Taiwan, if he or she appears in NTU or NTHU, people will say, "Oh, how, how many points you, you know, uh, you know, you got to get here, right?" So that's one problem. Maybe based on merit. So those, are, but it's a, a way of helping. Okay, equality of opportunity. People say, "No, as long as we have equality of opportunity, we don't need <coughs> affirmative action." That's not right. Okay. Entrance examination, standardized tests. Sometimes people say those standardized tests might be discriminating. Okay? For example, uh, say, oh, Christmas is in the winter. Sorry. You know, from where I came, Christmas is in the summer. summer. <laughs> right? So, so that's, not, that's not a good standardized test. Okay. And app, you understand application recruitment, uh, some of this. Okay, we come back and... Uh, Finish this and then finish the Thai article. Okay, you all know these restrictions. Uh, three, san, xian, liu bu. Okay, three restrictions and six no for many students in Taiwan. Uh, try to remember some of them. Okay. <laughs> it's so uh, strange. I think we should add number seven. No preferential score. Uh, I, I think that's okay. Used to be. But can we give preferential scores to minority in China, like Tibetans? Yeah, we used to do that. 
So in Taiwan, if if you're Tibetan from Taiwan, you can get preferential treatment. But you Tibetan from China, you cannot. That's that's strange. Okay, not to affect local enrollment number. Yeah, we need more of you because some of our schools are going to be closed. But some of those schools are really good for retirement home. You know that. Uh, some of our private technical college university, they are in countryside, good air. Uh, they have cafeteria. So like I retire, I go there. And they have dorm. Okay, so for us, you know, dorm, that's fine. You know, retire people. And then they have some classroom. Oh, continuing education. Uh, so why don't we all retire there? You know, turning some uh, uh, into retirement home. Okay. Otherwise, I mean, we have to have more students. Okay. No, now eligible for scholarship? Uh, strange. At least I got some scholarship before when I was gra- graduate. Not allowed to moonlight. Uh, did I moonlight? Yes. <laughs> Not allowed to seek. Moonlight just means you have to work very hard. You cannot go on to enjoy the moon. Okay. No, you understand moonlight. Moonlight is second job. Okay, uh, it's not sick. But but the DPP also suggests a seventh no. What is that one? No dating of local. Meaningless? Hmm. I don't know. Because, you know, if you allow them to date, then it will evolve into marriage or kids. Right? So you have to start from the very beginning. No dating. But how can you tell? Right? How can you tell? Okay, so, not different electoral system. You have to understand this one. Single member district, first past the post, two rounds, absolute majority. Colombia, right now, is voting for this, uh, the first round, already finished. They have to have the second round. Okay. Single member district, you understand that one. You're voting only for one member. Okay. Some other countries will have like a uh, single non-transferable vote, which is this one, single non-transferable vote. Okay, if you cannot remember the system, this is the system still being used in Taipei, and I think also, I'm not sure about Xinzhu, but also Taichung as well. Uh, local assembly, multi-member, right? 我们是不是市议会都是好几个？一个选区选好几个，然后呢，但是只能投一票。你说，but I love more than one. You know why are you put me in this position, right? Uh, so what do we call this single vote, non-transferable? Means you can vote one, but cannot transfer to another vote. So if you cannot remember this, I had a system again called SN TV, Sony TV. <laughs> so that's how you remember it. SNTV, Sony TV. Okay. Uh, so this is a uh, vote system. Mixed system means combine proportional representation and others. Some countries have a very strange one. Uh, one country has the best loser system. You know, like uh, nationwide, the five top losers is also part of the parliament. So if you lost in election, but you are the best loser, <laughs> you, you are also in the pot. So there are all kinds of systems. Uh, my friends who study election, crazy. I, st- I used to do that, but I, I'm not interested in those anymore. Like how do you count? Like Australian ballot, they ask you to rank your candidate. You know, like one, two, three. So for example, someone who got a lot of number one vote, and then... Number three votes, okay. He might not win because the guy who got more number two votes plus some number one's vote might win. Uh, very different kind. And then they have uh, 
some kind of 余数加急哦，还有叫什么什么什么拜啊，习拜。Ooh, I love this in Japan. They have this 习拜 Okay, so very strange, uh, polit uh, electro system. But every electro system is just trying to have the best representation. I think so. First past the post, single member district, clear, no controversy, but not the best representation. Okay. So you have to remember that one. Uh, political system, parliamentary, presidential system, semi-presidential. Now, which one is Taiwan? Li <laughs> Yuxuan. Yeah, which one is Taiwan? Uh, is, is Taiwan a presidential system? Parliamentary system because we have a prime minister, right? Pa prime minister is only in parliamentary system, but we also have a president, so it must be president. So what are we? Is what? We are 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 uh, when Jiang Jingguo was the strong man in Taiwan, when he was prime minister, we are parliamentary system. When he was president, we are presidential system. Uh, people said, but what happened before him? Oh, when he was uh, defense minister, we are defense minister system. <laughs> so what is Taiwan? Taiwan, according to the Constitution of 1948, Okay, the original constitution, the one before being amended many times. Now doesn't look like anything. Okay, Taiwan is Okay, so original one, we are a closer to parliamentary system. Okay. And then people say, but you know, every democracy people love president. So we are more like a presidential system. But people said we are a semi-presidential. Okay, because we have two. Uh, strange. Okay. Majority rule, minority government. Uh, <coughs> parliamentary system can always have majority rule. Okay, parliamentary, because you have to form majority. Like Great Britain, which majority do they have? Miss Lee, Great Britain, right now. England, Who are the majority? Who are the majority in Great Britain? Okay, I'll give you a clue here. You can take a look. British political party, which one? Are in the majority. Labour? They were just being defeated. <laughs> I think they just lost the election. Conservatives. Okay, conservative is the biggest party, but they don't have a majority, so they have a coalition government with Liberal Democrats. Okay, so parliamentary system usually they will try to form a majority, even though they might not. Okay, pa presidential system sometimes you will have what we call divided government. Divided government means president and parliamentary control belong to two different parties. Okay. <coughs> like United States right now is very rare. A democratic president, a democratic Congress. Okay, usually you might want to have check and balance. Hmm? Uh, in America, you know, people say Congress separation of power, check and balance, and but most of the American congressmen are receiving check and put in their bank to balance their account. 
Uh, they said, well, we are doing check and balance. Huh? Mm. So, uh, United Kingdom, you understand all these terms, right? England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and Great Britain. British politics, Westminster model, that's the one, Xi Ming Si, okay, parliamentary system. House of Lords, House of Commons. Please cherish this House of Lords right now because some of them in the future might want to face election. <laughs> uh, people said they need to, they cannot be disappointed. This uh, Yuan is like our not elected. Now they're going to change that. Member of the cabinet of parliament, uh, cabinet, okay. Uh, <coughs> shadow cabinet, uh, I don't think we have that one. Now, Democratic, uh, Democratic Progressive Party in Taiwan, uh, if we have a shadow cabinet, Huang Yixia, if we have a demo, uh, shadow government in Taiwan, who should be the next minister of uh, defense for DPP? means I have one person. If we go going to win the election, he will be the next minister of foreign affairs. 谁是? Ah, 民进党的话, 如果执政, 谁是外交部长? 有没有人已经看出来像是? Beking! <coughs> Who is Beking? Beking Xiao. Xiao Meiting? 会不会? Maybe. 那谁是教育部长? 有没有? I think it would be the son of Du Zhengshen. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't know. But, but, but when we talk about shadow government, this is where you have, okay, in a parliamentary system, because every parliamentary system, the members in the cabinet, minister, is also a representative. So that's the majority ruling party. Minority, they also have one members of parliament, in the future, if we want the majority, I, I am going to be the next one. So that's why we call shadow government. Right? You can be more. So that's shadow government. Backbenchers. Backbenchers is what? It's Brian Scalbrini of Boston Celtics. Really, in the very, ba very back of the bench. Uh, like, uh, 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 in America, basketball, they have what we call the award coming out of the bench, from the bench, coming out of bench. Yeah, the six men's award. But I never heard of the 12th man award. You may desire it. The real backbenchers are doing what? Getting the shower. Right? Uh, what do we call those? Uh, cheerleading. cheerleading. Okay, um, but uh, but in um, in in Great Britain, backbenchers are the young, the first termer uh, in the parliament. Magna Carter, you know that one. Da Xianzhang, <laughs> Monarch, Buckingham Palace, Prime Minister, Downing Street Ten, British political party. You have those Parliament. Remember this term: Hong Parliament and Coalition Government. Minimum winning coalition. We explained that already. The politician, you should know them. Sometimes I give multiple choice, and I will mix a movie star in there, or someone like uh, you know Beckham, mm -hmm. David Beckham. Ooh, people will choose. Oh, you know. Uh, so make sure you don't embarrass yourself, okay, by choosing some strange. Okay. British election uh, term, uh, remember the difference between parliamentary and presidential fixed term and term limit, impeachment uh, for fixed term, but no confidence vote uh, for uh, 
no term limit, no fixed term. Early elections snap. If you suddenly decide, I want to have an election, midterm election for America by election, not by election. By election is means what? 补选. Okay, someone die, someone scandal, resign. Okay, so by election. <coughs> Dissolution of parliament, 解散国会, right? Re resignation. Okay, vocabulary, I gave you a lot, so I think that should be enough here for you to go over. Okay, uh, remember I gave you a sample test before. Uh, sometimes, you know, don't overlook the sample test. You might have some questions you want to see. Okay, might be the same. Who no. knows? Okay, let's go into Thailand. Yeah. I I need to give you something. Uh at least you should recognize a few things. Okay. Mm. Where are we? Anyone know where are we? I know we are somewhere here. <coughs> Why compromise? Where are we? Which paragraph? Society? Just a second. Page? Okay, so society fracture. Okay, this is where we saw. As Thailand? Oh, we finished that paragraph. Have, have we finished as Thailand crisis? No, okay. So we start with Tan uh, Zhuwen. As Thailand. As Thailand's crisis continues to unfold, many will wonder how it came to be. Politics is the, the art of the compromise. Ties had appealed to the experts. Various political factions, both elected and unelected, covered together governments that oversaw steady economic growth, even as they squabbled and scrapped for the spoils. The pragmatic formula no longer works. Political crisis have polarized opinions within families, workplaces and communities, and hollow out the same. Okay, so Thai people are supposed to be the best in compromise, uh, but not anymore. You know, they <coughs> mastered the art of compromise before. You know, people who might fight against one another, uh, elected, unelected, but, you know, fighting for what? For spoil. What do we mean by spoil? It's almost like fighting for uh, 分章, 中文怎么讲, 章, 英文, spoil will be uh, something that you, you share uh, the, 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 the wealth of the country. 油水. <laughs> uh, the oil and the water. <laughs> okay, so spoil means, for example, we work together to rob the bank and then we share the spoil. Okay, something like so. So people were, was <coughs> were able to fight and then continue, you know, and fight for that spoil, argue and fight. But they they, they, they would try to do that, but you know, they can compromise and then say, okay, you know, that's not fighting, you know, real one. Let's just you know maybe just getting this one, uh, the spoil. Uh, so they have economic growth even though they fight. But continue to have growth. But now that pragmatic formula no longer works. Polarize. You understand polarize. Uh, now, which society 
is supposed to be the least polarized. Uh, how about Haiti? Is Haiti not polar? No, Haiti is polarized. Yes. Taiwan is polarized. So, so if you don't use the camera Polaroid before, maybe you are not polarized. What is the country less polarized? I think Japan. I mean, do you think Japan has a very different view? Or maybe about the American basis, right? But, but most people don't like the American base. But uh, I don't think Japan is very polarized. Singapore probably not, okay, as polarized. But definitely Taiwan is. Uh, I think Korea is as well. Uh, so a lot of countries are polarized, including Thailand. Uh, so you have polarized opinion within family. Do we have that in Taiwan? How many of you uh, in your extended family that you have people voted for different camp. It's okay. Okay. 你们家里头有没有蓝绿阵营投票？家庭聚会会发生争吵的。嗯。Uh, I have one. Okay. At least in my family, we have one. Uh, so, uh, but it's okay. Family is still family. But some family have problem. Okay. Uh, even to the extent that people will not allow their kids to kids to date each other. How can you date someone from the blue family? Oh. Mm. But I have but parent cannot stop this. I have deep blue family son marry a deep green daughter. Oh, you know. They try to avoid seeing each other, I think. You know, but still so workplaces, do, you, do we have that? Yes, communities, and then hollow out the center. means, you know, this center is no longer there to hold. Okay, next one, uh, Guo Junyi. Bumi Bo, Adliate. A truce. In trim, in trim. Bumi Bo. Broker. Okay, uh, in 1992, Thailand also had coup, right? That's one of the few times a bloodshed coup. Usually, Thailand's coup is we call bloodless. You know, everybody say, hey, take a picture with the tank. Uh, you know, say hi to the soldiers. Uh, but 1992, okay, a coup leader <laughs> sent troops out to mow down. Well, I like that word, mow down. What is to mow down? Have you ever mowed the lawn? Mow down the lawn. No. Uh, smash. Smash. Uh, or sometimes in basketball game, you know, you have someone like uh, Kobe Bryant can score like 30 points in one quarter. That would be to mow down the, uh, the other team, right? 
So Mo Dan means put down, you know, uh, the pro-democracy protester, and also the king at the time was able to order a truce. What is a truce? T R U C E. Hmm? Mr. Guo, this is an important word. Truce. T R U C E. Truce is like <laughs> you got a technical. No, what does that mean? Uh, stop this. Uh, you have uh, you know. You can take a break. Stop. What would it mean? Time off. Yeah, 暂停. Just is chanting. Truth is, uh, uh, yeah. 临时停火, almost like that, okay? Between the army chief and the protest leader, saying, well, stop, okay. Uh, the king can say, do that. But now he's 82 years old, okay? Uh, at the time before, well, this is 18 years ago, he was 64, I think, if you do the math correct. 64 uh, was able to do it. Uh, having the truce and then uh, appoint a interim administration. Nice word, interim. What do we mean by interim? Interim agreement, interim administration, government. Interim agreement is what China and Taiwan is trying to have. We call it Zhong Chen Xie Yi. Not at the end, Zhong, middle. Okay, means in the, in the meantime, we don't know whether Taiwan want to have independence or unification with China. But for the next 50 years, why don't we have an agreement so that in this period, it's a transit, okay, transition. We don't know what happened, called Zhongchen. So almost like Ling Shi, temporary, but it's a little bit longer. So interim government means Lin Shi Zhengfu. You know, you set up government, for example, if, if, if somehow uh, Korea Peninsula, the war broke out, Li Mingbo got assassinated. Okay, sorry. Uh -huh. If he got assassinated, and then Korea, you know, obviously will have a succession line. But what happened, you know, North Korea is very good in killing a lot together. Right? Uh, in 1983, uh, when a lot of ministers from South Korea visiting Myanmar and on their way to the airport being bombed by North Korea, it killed, I think, about eight ministers or seven. So very efficient, uh -huh, North Korea. So then you will have, have, have to have an interim government. In Thailand, for example, if the Russia army have its way and uh, Abhisi resign. Then you have to have someone in take, we call it caretaker. Okay. Yeah, in the middle, you, you take care. Okay. So a caretaking taker government. So this is interim. But at the time, it has. Okay. But now he stayed out of the current crisis and Russia as well as foreign observers said uh, the palace means the king. Okay. Taken side, no longer honest broker. What do you mean by honest broker? Broker. Mr. Guo, you understand broker? Broker is also a word right now being used. We call uh, to broker a piece. Not broke a piece. Broker a piece means you bring the two sides together, saying, why don't we sit down and let's reach a piece. So broker, not a business person, This is a, a <laughs> statesman, you know. Okay, but we call them qianke. Okay, fine. So broker a piece. But the king, you say the king is a qianke, that's not a... <laughs> honest, what do you mean by honest, broker? For example, if you have, like a lot of family have problems, husband and wife fought all the time, and then there will be someone 
in a third party say, okay, don't fight. Okay, I'll listen to you. Like, okay, I'll decide who's wrong, who's right. But sometimes they will say, no, no, I don't want this person to mediate because he's already on your side. Right? So that's not we call honest broker. Honest broker means you have no preposition on this issue. Okay, you listen. You try to be as honest as possible. But if you already have taken sides, then you are not honest broker. Okay. So what would be an honest broker? Uh, for example, in Taiwan, if we do have uh, the pen blue and the pen green try to decide or debate on something, do we have any newspaper in Taiwan? People will say they can. Okay, we have one television called public television. At least people say debate uh, organized by public television station may be neutral, right? Am I right? 公示办比比三立或中天办要要要公正一点吧。How about newspaper? Pen Blue said uh, we cannot trust the Liberty Times. And uh, Pen Green said, no, we don't trust United Daily News. No, like Nianhe, already they want Tong Yi. Uh. Okay, Zhongbo, oh, that, that's China. Uh, so which one is more an honest broker here? Apple Daily, yes. Uh, Apple Daily, okay. So that's what we call honest broker. You understand honest broker? Ren Jian Fu Bao, maybe. Xing Bao, you may think of Xing Bao. Uh, Xing Bao may be honest broker. Uh, uh, awakening, <laughs> Xing Bao. Okay. Uh, 2006, coup and royalist yellow shirts protest in 2008 drove home that message. Drove home that message. What do you mean by drive home? Drove home. Mr. Guo, go drive home. What does that mean? Like something you don't know. Whether that's true or not, but that, uh, da, yeah, let's drive home. You know, like, yeah, okay, that's, that's what we call drive home. means hit you and you know that's what. Okay, Chinese how do you drive home? Do you have a word? It's a word. 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 It's a Okay, 难怪找不到, drive home. <laughs> okay, so you understand drive home. Uh, there is no simple fix. People like to use that word as a noun, fix. Means no way to do it, change that. Looming succession. Looming, what do you mean by looming? Looming means getting bigger and bigger. The issue is coming closer to you. We call it looming. So what do we have there? I think in Taiwan, probably a looming things will be uh, if China want to pressure Taiwan for unification. What would be the uh, North Korean issue? Also, looming secession. Jin Zhenri does not even want to leave anything in China. You, you read about this? Even his shit, he took back to North Korea. Because he was worried China will analyze and knew what kind of disease he had. Okay. You know, Chinese are very good. We even have a king who tastes the shit of the other king, right? Okay. 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 That's very important. So if, okay, Miss Xu, you're going to be a mother one day. If you don't know what your kids got, you know, some kind of problem, taste his shit. Okay? <laughs> so you will know. Your wu gu wei, oh, good. Okay? So, uh, so, with an unpopular crown prince, what is a crown prince? Hello? What is a crown prince, Miss Guo? Chu <coughs> Jing.
油饭。Hungry. Okay. Further heightened tension means meet, you know problem. Uh, remember, Thailand's crown prince, not very popular. People think he's a disaster. It's going to be a problem for Thailand. But the queen supported the crown prince. Everybody in Thailand like the princess. The princess is a very nice one. Okay, she always represent the king. To go out for a charity function, and people think she's a good one. Her younger brother is terrible. You know, it's、uh, basically a spoiled one,、uh, creating problem. But he is there, going to be the next king. So maybe Thailand can abolish monarchy. You know, you have. You know, like he would say, "I made this contribution. I'm so bad." Finally, Thailand abolish monarchy. That's a contribution, don't you think? Okay,、uh, try to finish the article by yourself, and then we will take the final end next week, right? That's what we said. But、uh, I want to meet after that next week to return your work and discuss with you as well.